Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition, the redo. Although it's entirely possible it might need to be the re-redo at a certain point. Um, what I'm running into right now is that the DLC is more or less required for the save now for some reason i guess i might have progressed it too far uh with the dlc for it to now go without it and uh yeah that's causing some issues i'm noticing um i have no envoys when i should have at least two um when i go to look at contacts there should be something that tells me about their diplomacy stance and currently there is no description and I can't improve or harm relations because I don't have any envoys to do so I'm hoping if I just continue with the game it'll eventually fix the problem itself so we're gonna try Ah, well, there's the envoys that I was talking about. So there's that. Okay. Um, and now some people are harming relations on purpose. That's great. Um, the Polysimus Syndicate, in particular, do not seem to like me anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, United Nations of Earth and the Yon Alliance are fine. I'm rivals with their allies, though. Mmm, that's gonna be a problem. Uh, improving relations with them should help a little bit. So, okay, well, that takes care of that problem. Um, at least for the particular time being. Ah, oh, there they go. All right, the diplomacy stance for the Polysimus Syndicate is mercantile. Desires the facilitation of trade above all else. Okay, that's fair. All right. The Cytherian entity is belligerent. That makes sense, considering. United Nations of Earth is cooperative. Also makes sense. Yan Alliance is also cooperative. That's very nice. I like seeing that. Alright. So. Um, other than that. What else did I have going? Oh yeah, all of this. All of this shenanigans. I guess I'll work on that too. Okay. So. The other thing. You're probably noticing in the top corner. Well, top middle right-ish, I guess I should say, uh, that we have a number in the red there. Uh, very not good to have sort of thing. Um, that would be the administrative uh, capacity thing I was talking about. That is what we would build administrative offices for, which is what I'm going to replace this resource silo with right now. Bureaucrats turn consumer goods into administrative capacity. Which means another drain on consumer goods. But, now that getting uh, power, rather uh, energy credits, is not that difficult anymore. It should be fairly easy to just change that. Um, it would be under policies. There we go. I do not want to be belligerent. I just want to be expansionist. God damn it. <laughs> I don't want to be an asshole. Intentionally. <laughs> uh, accidentally, sure. I'll be fine with that, but not intentionally. Um... Not wealth creation, but consumer benefits. There we go. That way we get in a little consumer goods as well. 
that would help. Militarized economy, we're actually going to go for mixed. And that'll also help with our consumer goods, uh, for lack of a better phrase, uh, cunts consuming. <laughs> I was going to say consummation. I was like, wait, no, that ain't right. That's a whole different thing. But that should help there. And also, we have no automatic trades. We are doing good on everything but crystals. That's fine. We'll eventually get there with crystals. That's not going to be too much of an issue. Oh, the reason we don't have any crystals is because I can't mine them yet. That explains a bit. All right. <laughs> Tatanga. <laughs> Oh, I gotta name that. I gotta name that Topanga. I gotta. I gotta. Especially after what recently happened <laughs> regarding the actress who plays Topanga. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta. I have to. It's required of me now as a memer. Anyway. Actually, I don't know how to spell her name. Fuck it. <laughs> Also, I shouldn't be swearing this early in the episode. Fuck it. Anyway. Um, this all looks pretty clear, so I won't worry too much about that end. Um, we'll close that for the time being. We'll close that for the time being. And on everything else, we're sitting rather pretty in that regard. So I won't complain. Um, policies is doing good monetarily I shouldn't be doing that but eh is what it is and eventually I'll start uh, expanding further into where I, uh, I take care of all of these little uh, systems I still haven't brought into the fold yet we'll get there we'll get there Battle debris secured. I forgot to check as well. Um, since they're cooperative, it would be only harming relations is a drain on influence. Technically. Yeah. I'm only consuming stuff from the non-aggression packs, research agreements, and commercial packs. That's all I'm draining influence from. What? Wasn't it? Pull two. Put the star base in the house. In Naus? Where the fuck is Naus? <laughs> now I'm confused, because I don't remember that star system. Oh, okay. Yeah, he, they, they wouldn't be able to. Okay, so. Just focus on that for the time being. And then I'll have you come back to the nearest starport. There we go. Oh, and the science ship is doing nothing. Uh, analyze the debris from Evexus. Okay, yeah, it ain't doing too bad. So let's get started on that. 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 And then move on to this little pocket here and in the meantime I do got a yes I do have a uh, construction ship over here over to say uh, should be closer to the port anomaly found all right there it goes an anomaly home to a number of exquisite impact craters However, something breaks the visual uniformity in one of the larger craters. Interesting. We'll see Construction what it is. complete. Ooh, that was quick. Yeah, that was very quick. Oh shit. Okay. That's fine by me. 
While the crater in question was most likely the result of a regular meteorite impact, the complex patterns in the resulting depression originated at a later time. Science officer Lee Howard argues that these surface-level patterns are not the result of an impact, but a collision, one between asteroid R66354F and some unspecified orbital installation or ship of alien make. How odd. Indeed, how odd. Alrighty. Special project complete. Nice. A thorough investigation of Chohar 6A has unearthed evidence of a past Ute presence. An away team from the ISS Policier has managed has managed to bring a relatively well-preserved artifact back to the ship, which should hopefully increase our knowledge of this ancient civilization. Is that Yes! Yes it is. Finally. After intense study of our recovered Ute artifacts, scientists on Felon Day have managed to deduce the exact galactic coordinates of Utan, the home planet of the ancient Ute civilization. We should launch an expedition to the system before someone else beats us to it. New city. Hell yeah. We're gonna do that. You're busy. You're busy. You're not that busy, but you, you will be busy. Shohar, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to head back to Straya and help there. And you're going to the Arbitraeus system. Okay. Well, in that case, you will be going to where Utan is. But I need to see where they placed it on the map first which is the trick isn't it they tend to place it in really weird spots it's usually within reach of your s galaxy oh boy but i'm not seeing it which means it could be anywhere <laughs> okay um you to home system Ton. Ah, I'm blind. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Okay, fair enough. We'll send you there. Survey. Beautiful. And that should. should take care of that and now we have a galactic community as more and more spacefaring civilizations establish formal relations with one another the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place to avoid tragic misunderstandings between nations an increasing number of diplomats have called for the establishment of a new pan-galactic organization a community if you will where the empires of the galaxy can meet to discuss important matters. Should the, Fel the Empire of Felinae pledge its support to th for the creation of the galactic community? Absolutely! This is a worthy endeavor. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Nice. Good to hear. Hey! Solid holographic casts can alter their shapes at a moment's notice, speeding up alloy production. Fuck yeah. Ceramo metal alloys. I didn't know that that was a research thing that we could go into after that. Widespread use of advanced ceramics in industry can improve metallurgical yields. Hmm. Interesting. I want to get into it. Construction complete. Ooh. We would not want to drag your empire into a conflict, but it is clear that we would benefit from joining together against possible threats. Hells yeah! Let's do that. Okay, you are done here. So, uh, let's move you back to the Kerbal system for now. 
You can just rest there while we build up our influence. Because we desperately need that. Oh. Uh-oh. The Yeon Alliance have broke their migration treaty with the Polysimus Syndicate. It seems they have come to regret their open borders. Or at least open enough that they're willing to migrate. That means that the Polysimus Syndicate are getting really big for their britches. They think they are, anyway. In Anomaly found. We briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Interesting. Let's look into it. We are doing really well with the Eon Alliance. It's good to know. Although the Plissima Syndicate... Uh, Still have someone harming our relations. Why is that? Oh. Huh. That stopped. Okay, that's good. That's good at least. It's really weird. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Oops, I do. Okay. We'll upgrade those for sure. While approaching Trab 6, the ISS Brinkman suddenly received a glancing hit by several passing mass driver rounds. The projectiles were billions of years old. And based on their trajectory, they appear to be stray rounds fired from a neighboring galaxy. Yeesh. After missing their intended target, they continued on their journey for untold millennia until today. The rounds we have recovered are of an advanced design despite their incredible age. Damn, incredible. Hell yeah. That's cool shit. Okay. Racket Industrial Enterprise. These guys again. It is not a relic. It is an antique. Just think. Survived this many centuries already. Built to last. Okay. What can you offer us? We have a ship. Destroyer. Very good. Fast. Strong. Well equipped. Certainly not getting enough of it for a reason. Oh no. No time to let your mechanics examine it. You want the ship, do you not? It was 200 minerals and the ship is yours. It's a small price to pay, and I mean, their other destroyer was pretty good. Sure, why not? A pleasure. A joy to deal with the Emperor Felinich. We will de visit again. The, the voice I keep doing for them gets weirder and weirder by the second. <laughs> but it's fun. So, I'll see why not. Where is that other ship? Super Clanker. Merge them together. That's two, two Super Clankers I now have in the fleet. Um... I just want to... Check the ship itself, though. Um, System reconnaissance completed. System reconnaissance completed. Okay. Well, so much for doing that while time is passing. All right, let me scroll down. Maybe the other one will... Well, this was the other super clanker we got prior. Maybe it'll look like that. Maybe. We'll find out in a second, I guess. What came before? Find the home system of a precursor empire. Cool. We have confirmed that Utan Majoris was the original homeworld of the Ute. The planet suffered extensive orbital bombardment roughly four million years ago. Twisted metal skeletons are all that remain of the massive arcologies that once covered the surface. 
from what we can piece together, it seems the Ute spent the better part of a million years searching local space in vain for signs of intelligent life. When they finally encountered the Jabar... Jabardini... The Jabardini... Or Jabardini, I guess. I don't know. I've pronounced it so many different ways. Fuck it. I don't even care. A young race that had only recently achieved interstellar travel. Their alien psychology was a tremendous shock. The Ute leadership reached a consensus. The Jabbar Dinai had to be eradicated before they grew too powerful. A massive surprise attack was launched, which was beaten back at great cost for both sides. Despite their young age, the Jabbar Dinai the Jabardini were already experimenting with technologies the Ute had never considered. And eventually they gained the upper hand. After less than a decade of warfare, the two million year old Ute Empire was utterly destroyed. Damn. Shows if you don't have the tech upper hand, you ain't gonna win any wars. Damn. Damn, though. Alright. So now we're gonna start on Harmony, I guess. And adopt. Let's think about this, though, real quick. While a lot of the stuff in Harmony would be good, that's more of a later... Hmm. A lot of the stuff... I don't know. Other playthroughs I've started in Harmony. After I got done with Discovery and Expansion. That's usually because I'm gaining unity hand over fist. Hmm. The mining station output increase would be nice. And then everything else would be nice as well here. Mm. Mm. I guess I'll go Harmony this time around. Because I figured, as it obviously looks, that we'd be further along on the uh, progress towards the next one. Uh, because of the unity we got from finding the Ute Empire. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go from there. Alright. We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Yurav Vas system. Okay. What do we have here? Finishes in six months. That's good. Hmm. Hey! This is a historic day. Several of the gala... <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> this is a historic day. Several of the galaxy's prominent spacefaring empires, including the Empire of LNA, have announced the creation of the Galactic Community. The supranational organization will serve as a forum where matters involving the entire galaxy can be discussed and decided upon. 
as one of its founding members, we can take pride in this milestone of galactic history. A great day for the galaxy. And from here, we can propose resolutions that will impact the grand state of the galactic uh, <laughs> the galactic community itself and I say we start with mutual defense the ready to shield the diplomatic weight from fleet power is increased and our naval capacity is increased but the ship upkeep is also increased the empire is likely to support this uh, resolution Include the Yeon Alliance and the Sutherian Entity. Eh, not sure I want Sutherian Entity on my side on this, but it is what it is. So we'll propose that. So obviously we support it. And then eventually in 711 days, this it'll be brought to the Senate floor. In which case it will be voted on by the entire galactic community. Haha. <laughs> Alright, and with that, uh, I'm going to also assign an envoy of Prathamesh Chauta. <laughs> Man, you have a hell of a name. And uh, that will also increase our diplomatic weight as well. Not by much, but it's something. Someone also. Huh. The Sacrosanct Themoid Conclave. Also proposed the Guardian Angels Act. Hmm. That basically undoes everything I just did. But I mean, I get what they're saying. Yeah. I'll abstain from it for now. System reconnaissance completed. Alrighty, there we go. Actually, where is that anyway? Uh, not there. Not there. Where the hell did they just get done surveying that? I'm now confused. <laughs> I'm now very confused. But it's fine, I guess. Alright, um... Oh, it's over there. That's what it was. Okay, I'm just silly. I'm being shown time and again. I'm just blind. All right. Um, oh, boy. I just used up my influence just putting up that resolution. Fact. Well, that's unfortunate. Anything I can do Special with the Special project yes! complete. After sex successfully translating their language. If I could only speak English, that'd be great. I could not have trouble in my brain translating my own language. Uh, we have established communications with the independent space station of the Curator Order. Beautiful. Well, not necessarily this specimen. That is... That is a face. Jesus. Greetings, Star Travelers. We are the Curators. Our ancient order was established eons ago by the various galactic powers in ascendancy at the time. We were dedicated towards the preservation of all knowledge. In an effort to safeguard the galaxy from descending into yet another dark age of mass extinctions and barbarism, we failed. Few of us remain today, but we are no less committed to our sacred mission than our predecessors were. We are willing to share some of our knowledge with you for a price. Well met. 
You call that a fair deal? You spit in the face of the Numa. Pah! Oh, but we have customers. Our sincerest apologies for that display. Some do not have the courage to accept good fortune when it falls into their lap. Okay, show us your wares. Ah. Numa's breath on Dawnlight. Oh, we've already gotten this product on Dawnlight. Hmm. It is unfortunate <laughs> that it's only on Dawnlight that they're doing this whole thing again. Huh. System nice. reconnaissance completed. If it was... Oh, who is this? You're new. Also, you're new. What? What? The what? Um... Oh. Oh. Oh, so that's... That's what's happening. The Commonwealth of Man. Mmm. Knew it. Mm. So, some people are probably wondering, what the fuck? Allow me to explain. This game seems to be working on the principle that the United Nations of Earth as soon as they reach the ability to do uh, interstellar travel they sent a colony ship far out into the galaxy to try and survive as its own society or rather try and just be a colony it went severely off course still managed to find a planet but it was not necessarily the best of planets. And they essentially form their own society. Their own society that is more of a dictatorship and military focused society as opposed to the United Nations of Earth here. So, there are essentially two nations of humans. One good, and one not so good. As you can see, this one's also belligerent. So, they are going to be a problem. But... These two aren't so bad. At least not that I can see. The Spuxlak Star Nation. Or also Xenophilic. That's good. Why are they just Xenophilic? That's weird. Alright. I guess that's all the ethics they have. <laughs> They're also belligerent, though. That's weird. But, um, they only have, uh, the Commonwealth of Man as a problem towards them. So, I guess I shouldn't consider them our enemy. At least not too much. I should, however, probably try and safeguard our uh, our interests in the galaxy here. Also, what the hell? Oh, yeah, the ransomers. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. System reconnaissance completed. Hey! The Utan system has been fully surveyed. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, 
no. Lee Howard. Oh. Geez. All right. Do I have any science ships I can still rename? <laughs> okay. Exile, I'm going to bring you back to Felon Day to assist research. Okay, I'm going to make you go around this way. There we go. And then we'll focus going up here later. Yeah. All right. Uh, I've at this point I've renamed all of the all of the science ships already. <sighs> Shit. Well. It's been an honor, Lee Howard. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll uh, look at why uh, Commonwealth of Man, uh, Commonwealth of Man, has closed their borders to us. We have allowed you to move about freely in our territory for too long. I'm not even close to your territory. Today we draw the line. Okay. Fair enough, whatever you say there, bud. Okay, so. With that in mind. We'll just, uh, move on. We can rename it, but I don't think I want to. that what the hell is that in the back of the thing yeah I'm trying to figure that out looks like an energy field of some kind huh it's really weird okay let's make sure they're all Attached technically to the star base, that way they're not just there. We go, wasting up all of my energy credits, even though technically they would use very little. Okay, dawn light. Now I can start with administrative offices here, which would be very nice. Uh oh, uh oh. Sidled. What do you mean? Sidled? What? Oh, boy. A lot of proposals have entered the queue, and I wasn't really paying attention to them. Okay. Cooperative research channels. Absolutely. Pangalactic recycling initiatives. Yeah. Absolutely. Charter of Workers' Rights. Hell yeah. But I'm still going to abstain from the Guardian Angels Act for now. For now. Okay, so. They are going to go in. And from there, we'll see. And then they'll be upgraded later. Hmm. Oh, Jura Corp. They appear to have translated our language. Okay. Oh, my gods. 
High Trader Baglag. Okay, then. Welcome to Juracorp. We are a business conglomerate operating out of the Galpan system, specializing in trade, the very building blocks of civilization, as we like to say here at Zuricorp. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you're interested in making a good deal. Well met. Okay, so you're sitting there. Hmm. We'll just have you build a star base at Achernar, Achernar over here. That should work. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Oh. The pirate base, while fairly inconspicuous, is obvious when you know what to look for. A fleet in confused formation slowly drifts out from behind the repurposed mining complex. They were obviously not expecting company. Open comms. Captives need to be ready. Hello again, Empress. Uh, because my daughter took over. I take it Felinian ships are the cause of all of this commotion? Our hosts seem about ready to leave their posts. Boarding this place would probably end badly for everyone involved, but if you attack the base directly, I think we can make a break for one of the lifeboats. Please try not to blow us up on the way out. Very well. Anomaly found. Okay. So far we are just going to head into orbit. And we're going to attack. Science division reports a new breakthrough. I said we we're going to attack. <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't want to do that. Gravitic sensors. These sensors have been tuned to look for any gravitational changes in space, such as those produced by the presence of a starship. All right. Good to know. Hell yeah, we're going to zero-g laboratories. Why not? Oh, uh, that's what the problem is. I can't control them. I was targeting them. Ah, uh, silly me. Okay. Huh. The Polysimus Syndicate made peace with the Sutherian Entity. Ah, uh, the Sutherian Entity is humiliated. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Engaging enemy station. Okay. That went a lot faster than I hoped it would. Uh, mm. As the pirate base slowly tears itself apart in a savage chain reaction instigated by our military vessels, the search for the captive crew of the Luxian begins. If they made it to a lifeboat, they should be attempting to hail us by now. Scan all frequencies. Okay. All right. Empress, this is the crew of the Luxian. The plan went off without a hitch. Once you started bombarding the base directly, the guards took to their ships and we were able to break down the cell door. The lifeboats were unguarded, and it seems you kept the pirates busy enough that they did not care much about our escape. Welcome home, jailbreakers. All's well. With the crew of the Luxians safely on their way back to Felinde, disaster has been averted. The feline people are sure to glory in the decisive actions of the Empire Felinde's Empress. The situation with the kidnapping Ransomere pirates, as well as the pirate band itself, has come to an end. Some questions remain, mainly relating to the much larger piratical navy that captives claim to have seen through portholes shortly after their capture. But, considering the circumstances, it can be safely assumed 
that the threat appeared to be much greater than it actually was. The Ransomers are over and done with. Hells yeah. Now I can bring the fleet back. Specifically for upgrades. <laughs> because they need it. Alright. Good. Perfect. Alright. Oh, it's not even on the Senate floor yet. Ah! Buzzword standardization. Let's stick together in the upcoming vote and show the galaxy what unity looks like. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like that idea. We have to enable our enterprises to work seamlessly with one another. Streamlining strategic communications empowers our agents, making hitting key performance metrics easier. Yeah, that seems like a lot of fucking economical buzzwords. <laughs> All right, let's let's just do it. It's a Sutherian entities. Ugh, I don't like that you're the one who came up with that, but okay. All right. Oh, why is that up next? I put mine in first. Come on. That's just because it has slightly more support. Slightly more support. <laughs> There's a lot more support. Alright. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, let's put in another administrative office here. System reconnaissance completed. Nice. Construction Beautiful. complete. Perfect. Okay. With what? Inbound message traffic. Ever feel like your life is about all about the have tos and never about to want tos? <laughs> Let me try that again because I can't apparently read English. Ever feel like your life is all about the have tos and never about the want tos, felons? Here at the United Nations of Earth, we live for doing the things you don't want to, so you don't have to. Enter a commercial pact with us and maximize the meaningfulness of your existence. Wow. <laughs> that is some phrasing. All right, let's agree. Just because it's nice. It's a nice thing for us. Okay. The best thing out of this whole thing is the leader lifespan. Increased by 20 years. So let's do it. By embracing a combination of new meditation techniques and healthier eating habits, a large segment of our population enjoys a greater life expectancy than ever before. Oh, I also forgot to read Harmony's thing. Few things can match the strength of a content populace working towards a common goal. There we go. All right, now that they're also done here well might as well make them build the mining station and the research station which is good oh my dear god how am i blowing through so many energy credits ah it's mainly stations that makes sense okay well that's a bit of trouble a little bit of trouble but it should be fine In the foreseeable future it should be fine Ooh. okay well we'll uh, get one more foreign mic. powers are engaging in active hostilities Ooh. Uh oh that isn't good we have much to learn from one another felon we propose the creation of a research agreement between our empires. Absolutely. Yon lines have declared war on Sutherian entity. Really? Really now? All right. All right. You go, birds. Hell yeah, let's do it. Colonial bureaucracy. Local administrative F uh, 
local administrative developments allow for closer supervision of colonial affairs without excessively burdening central decision making. Hell yeah. Good shit. Alrighty. Wow. We're already there. I didn't even know. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Uh, what should I do? Technically, this is the cheapest. Actually, no. Technically, this is pretty cheap. Technically. Yeah, let's go for it. Just so we get it out of the way. Alright, and with that, I think we'll end the episode today. And hopefully we'll deal with that energy credit uh, deficit soon. If not, we're in trouble. Like a lot. So... Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and trying to expand our community and our empire as much as we can. While also not pissing off majority of our neighbors. Which, uh... Well, so far so good. We have neighbors to our lower half and our upper half who seem to be cooperative, which is always nice. And uh, it's just making sure we can get there without blowing through all of our resources. That'll be the majority of the struggle. But we should be able to make it. Maybe. For you.